Jamie Doris, Miss Congeniality. Come join me each week as I highlight the exceptional people and places of our beautiful Gulf Coast. It's candid. It's fun. Get that Mississippi for real with it. Beat. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Prepare to be surprised with me, Jamie Doris. I am Miss Congeniality. Hey y'all and welcome to Miss Congeniality. I'm your host Jamie Doris and today we are cruising back in time. A time before the Roaring Twenties, before World War I, before the Titanic and I had to dress for the occasion. We're at Cruising the Coast 2019 in downtown Gulfport, Mississippi. It's America's largest block party, Mississippi's largest event and we're doing it right here in this Ford Model T. This is the original car. First, we're talking the history of cars while driving the granddaddy of all cars. Then we're hitting the streets to check out the rest of the cruising party. Wait, is that Tyler? Looks like he's got a plant-based option for this all-American block party. All that and more coming up next, but first a word from our title sponsor, Lazy Magnolia. happens here in Mississippi every October. You see cars cruising up and down the strip from the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, even the 90s. It's all history on wheels. But few cars compare to this one right here. It's a 1913 Ford Model T, 106 years old, and it belongs to the family of today's special guest. Introducing the one, the only, the car enthusiast, Jason Pryor. Jason! Hey, Jamie, how are you? I'm so good. Happy cruising. Thank you so much. I like you, your outfit. I love your outfit. It looks wonderful. Well, thank you. Where'd you find it? I put it together. You're going to meet that lady a little bit later. Awesome. So, uh, are we going to get this, this puppy started? We need to get it started. All right, I'm going to let you do that. Okay. We ready? Do your thing. All right. This is quite an ordeal checks. getting this thing started. All right. Just remember to see. It started. Let's do this. Well, this thing's like driving a tractor. It, it, it sounds like driving a tractor <laughs> too. This is like this is like the granddaddy of cars. Yeah, the grandpa. The, the grandpa. grandpa. <laughs> this is what you call a horseless carriage. Horseless carriage. So meaning that that's kind of what they nicknamed it. Or the Tin Lizzie or there's a bunch of different nicknames. The Tin Lizzie. Yeah. Yep. I don't get it. It's tin. It's just metal tin. The tin oh, lizard. tin is in T I N. Yeah, like the, the, like the elemental the, what was it? Elemental element chart? The periodic table? Yeah, the periodic table. There we go. We went to high school together, can oh, you tell? Yeah. <laughs> So Jason, um, all right, so this is a 1913 Ford Model T. What is so special about this car? Well, to me, what is special about it or yeah, in general? Yeah, in general, yeah. Well, to me, what's special about it is, is that it's as basic mechanical car as you've seen, because we had to turn the hand crank to get it to start. It's 100% mechanical. There's, no computerized anything. There's nothing computerized. It's, you know, if they were going to be teaching mechanics in school, this would be the car that, in my opinion, they should start. They should start with. Because it's as, as rudimentary as possible. Exactly. This car is before modern time. It is like the beginning of current car, modern car. I don't know what I'm saying, well, but do you, you know what I'm saying? It was the first year of the assembly line, so. Henry Ford says, hey, look, you know, we could do this. We could build these cars in mass production and provide a vehicle that working families could afford that they could go down and buy them, you know, and, and have transportation, get rid of the horses, get ah, rid of the carriages. And before that, cars were a lot more expensive. They were more and they had to be custom built by hand. You know, there was no mass production per se. So this car came off of an assembly line. The, ver the very first assembly line. How long did it take 
to make on an assembly line? From what I've been told, approximately a day. A day to make this car on and, the assembly line. That's right. And Henry Ford says, hey, you can have any color you want, but it's got to be black. So this car... Hold on, you can have any color you want, but it's got to be black? Yeah, so he was buying this cheap black paint <laughs> and painting the cars, you know, to keep the to keep it fast and to keep it affordable. Yeah. And, uh, but this car, you know, naturally somebody says, well, it would look so much better red. Yeah. With the pinstriping and the brass and everything, it would just look fancier, dancier with the red. And it does to me. I love the red. I think it know, pops with our white and black. It does. So uh, they didn't come in red. Yet. The red you could get any color you wanted you as long it. as it's black. That's right. And that was the <laughs> that was the thing. So uh, yeah, that's it's awesome. Silly. When this thing was first hit hit the roadways, it was dirt roads, mud holes. You know, horses and buggies in front of you. You had to wait on that were stock. You know, it was designed to be able to just to take a beat and keep on running. You know? So it's a strong car. Oh, very strong car. Um, car. Why is this car so special? It was affordable. It was fast to assemble to, to make it. And it was built to be indestructible. And really? That's, and that's, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's why, I mean, they had their problems, but that's why you still have a 106 year old car that's still out on the roads today. It's chilling too. We're enjoying this. We've been getting all the honks yeah, and everybody waving. If it wasn't like, what, 100 of these? Well, now, were women wearing clothes like this when this car debuted? I think so, yeah. I'm not real. You're not hip with the fashion. I mean, I know today's fashion. But not, <laughs> not. And so when people do all their cruising stuff, they're thinking 50s, 60s, 70s, muscle cars. But this, this is the original car. It's the yeah. granddaddy. It is. So tell me, um, is there any way I could drive this car? You want to attempt to drive it? I, I want to attempt to drive it. Like in forward motion, okay? As in like, yeah, like driving. You think I can do it? I think you could do anything. <laughs> I, I really, like you. I really do, like, you're uh, super cool. Oh, thank you. I think you're super cool too. Turn right. Don't go anywhere, y'all. Up next, we are going to be switching gears and seeing if we can switch positions in this car. What year did the Ford launch the first Model T? I don't know what year. <laughs> 1912. 1908. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> what? Wait, 19, wait, 19. Oh, hey, all right. We vendors got to help each other out. Mm -hmm. They cheating. 1908. <gasps> he got it. He got it right, folks. Good job. And when it came out, how much did it cost? It's priceless. Stay tuned for more Miss Congeniality. Do you know Petro? You definitely should. This is Tony Petro. His name is well known in South Mississippi after 30 years in the car business. Now he's bringing his trusted name to the coast. Welcome to Petro Chevrolet and Petro Cadillac in Pascagoula. Jonathan, we are thrilled to finally be open for business here in coastal Mississippi. We're always focused on the customer first, and that's really what the Petro brand is all about. So visit us online. And come by and see us here at Petro Chevrolet and Petro Cadillac in Pascagoula. All right, y'all, we're back. We are with car enthusiast Jason Pryor, and we are about to learn how to drive this 1913 Ford Model T. Are you ready for this? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, ready? Yes. Ah. Okay. This lever brings, like, we're in neutral right now, okay? <laughs> so it's also dubs as the emergency brake. Gotcha. So what I was explaining is this pedal is your forward motion load. So when you press this pedal all the way to the floor and give it the throttle, you give it forward motion and then you disengage the lever here that gives you from neutral to low. It basically proximitizes that. So you would have to engage, disengage it and then that allows this pedal to come back past neutral into high gear. This is really tech. So you have, like I said, it's like a contortionist. You have to be I, a contortionist. I think it's awesome. Now, did women drive in 1913? Sure they did. 
Okay, so yeah. this is totally legit. Yeah, like, yeah. All right, I get mean, out of the car. I don't uh, need you anymore. Bye. All right, I'll see you later, again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Press that pedal now, all the way. Off down? Yeah. All the way? Go. Go. <laughs> Now what do I do? Out, let that out, 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 let it out. Out, 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 now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it like that. No, no, no. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> you stalled it. I stalled it. Okay, All right, let's see there. if we can get this thing cranked. We're good there. We're halfway. We don't want to stand in front of the car. But let me make sure this thing is not in gear. So basically you engage it to the crank. You feel it and then. And it's kind of like a lawnmower. Yeah, basically you're, we're relying on that crank to start it. Hi. Hold my fan. Sure, sure. Here. Oh yeah, I'm styling now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I guess other way. Inside, in, Turn in. your hand the other way. There you go. Use that forearm. Okay. And bring it up till you feel it grab, and then pull. That's you pulling the crank around. Oh God. So what we're relying on is that crankshaft <sighs> is turning nail. those cylinders. <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Hold on, Jamie. I mean, do you need a little more um, umph? Like, yeah, like you really have to umph it. Umph it, okay. Yeah, it's, it's you're turning over 40 horsepower. 40 horsepower. <laughs> oh, why didn't it do anything? Bring it all the way around, disengage. If you let it just pop out. Okay. Bring it all the way around, right there. And, and then push it in. That sends it in, and then you'll feel it grab. That's grabbing the tooth on the crank. Oh, God. So. I don't know how people did this. That, uh. All right, I'll let you do it. I'll try it. Let me try it. So there's actually a way to put a starter on this car. Or we just haven't done it yet. Well, you don't need to, because that's not what came with yeah, it. Yeah, it's anti-theft device. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's anti-theft, all right. I don't think you can get this thing going. All right, all right. Woo, you need muscles. Get it, Jason. Yeah, get it. Yeah, get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost there, baby. We might, there. we might have to push start it. <laughs> I can push. That's huh? something I'm good at. Can you? I can push. You want to try it? Seriously? Yeah, I can push. Okay. <sighs> I can't be on film having a lady push my car. <laughs> All right, y'all. Coming up next, we're getting this baby down to cruising to go check out the other events. Let me try. Even if we have to push it. Let me try. To Let's start. Do it. Can you drive a stick shift? Yes. How does it work? One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's what happens when you've been freaking. <laughs> Can you drive a stick shift? No. No. Never wanted to learn. Yes. Uh, most of my life. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I had a, a Datsun that was a five speed and that's what I learned how to drive on. Stay tuned for more Miss Congeniality. Look at all the stuff you can get from Coastal Hardware. <laughs> the secret is out, Jamie. The best shopping on the Gulf Coast is right here at a hardware store. We've got lumber, tools and hardware, lawn and garden, plumbing, neutrino feed, paint, toys, gifts, jewelry, clothes. Don't forget the boots and bird gears. We are more than a hardware store. Come experience our southern hospitality, Highway 603, The Kiln. Some uh, giant beer cans. Hurricane wreckage? Spaceships. Where are the rides? Scientology Church. It's the Oral Keep Museum of Art. Visit our website at georgeor.org and become a member of the Mad Potter Society. We promise we won't make you stand on your head. 
And we're back. It is downtown Gulfport, cruising the coast 2019. We just parked the 1913 Ford Model T, and we're going to see what else is going on downtown Gulfport. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, how you doing? Look at this. This is what you would call a low rider. It's at least what I would call a low rider. Oh my bejesus, who owns this car? Do you own this car? Come on over here. Is this your lowrider? Yes, it is. Tell me about your lowrider. Why is it that low? Well, it, because it looks good. Can you drive it like that? No, I raise it up. It's on air. It's got airbags, so I raise it up and set it down when I park it. Nice to meet you. I'm Jamie Doris. Hi. Hi. Do you like my dress? Yes. What you got right here? Oh, just you know where we at. You're not sure where we're at? <laughs> See where we can find the Duke. Well, I'm going to tell you what, I just got out of a 1913 Ford Model T. It's over there on the corner. You want to see it? I saw it earlier. Oh, I saw you, you in it. Uh -oh. Yeah. Did you get a picture with me? No, I didn't. Do you need one? No. Stop. Ah, stop. I know. <laughs> well, hello. How are you? Did you all give some extra points to the Saints? <laughs> My adorable niece, Miss Congeniality. This is my uncle, folks. Look at that. Look at this outfit. I thought I was going to be subtle. The bomb. I you are definitely it. off the top, young lady. You have definitely put this over the top. This is my other uncle. I, I see you seeing me. What's going on over here? I'm doing good. How are you? I, did, is it your wife here? That's uh, my friend. It's your friend with a wedding ring on. With benefits. Oh. This, this is your car? What kind of car is this? Corvette Z06. That is a Corvette. No, that is a Corvette. That's a Corvette. Oh, I was wondering. I yeah. was like, that doesn't look like a Corvette. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that one's the Corvette. That's the 57 Chevy behind me. That's not vintage. Sure it is. Poor little Eeyore's in the car by himself. Oh, he's got a pig with him. He matches with his shirt. Yes. Uh, this is my favorite color, by the way. What, what's the name of the color? Teal. I call it seafoam green. It's the same. It is a Rambler Ambassador. 880 Ambassador, all, everything's original on it. Including the Eeyore. Including the Eeyore and the Babe. They run as a pair. <laughs> they, they can't be separated. You're quite the character. Thank you. Hey. You want to get a picture? This is a baby American alligator named Bob. Does she like cars? She loves cars. Of course. Do you want to touch her? Are you sure? No, I'm good! I'm Joe. You're welcome. Me llama Jamie. Como se llama? Uh, yo me llamo Owen. Owen? Owen Santiago. Owen Santiago. I'm from Puerto Rico. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. I think we coordinated outfits this morning when we woke up. I think we totally did. I love yours. The voodoo daddy. Yo, all of these cars and these people and these conversations have gotten me hungry. I don't know about you, but we need to find Tyler to see what he has on tap for lunch. Come on, y'all. All are welcome at the Mockingbird Cafe. We believe in the connectedness of our community, and that has always been our driving force. We've been called the living room of the bay, but I think we're more like the kitchen table of your favorite auntie. Beautiful meals, business deals, romance, political aspirations, everything goes down here. Homemade biscuits and homemade jam. We have terrific coffee and yoga upstairs. Come see us in Old Town Bay, St. Louis. Let's talk about something that women don't want to talk about, and that is incontinence. We at the Woman's Clinic have a simple procedure that we can do to take care of that. We use the Fatona laser. Um, it's a simple procedure. You have tightening, you have enhanced lubrication. Um, sex isn't painful anymore, and you don't have that leakage that you deal with on a daily basis. Come see us at the Women's Clinic in Gulfport. We're right by Gulfport Memorial Hospital. Oh, 
the official Miss Congeniality cooking star. I'm starving. What do you have up for us today? We have hot dogs. Hot dogs? I thought you were plant-based. Made with carrots. That's so it's right. a carrot dog. It's a ca carrot dog. I like that better. Carrot dog. It's a carrot dog. So well, I'm why hungry. do we do carrot dogs? Big question. Most important thing. So why would you carrot dogs instead of hot dogs? Is hot dogs is an organization around the world, and it's called the World Health Organization, and they classify hot dogs and all processed meats as being carcinogens to the body, meaning it causes cancer. Not that it might. That's the next level down, but that it is shown to. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. So I just ate one yesterday. Uh, there's still there's a chance. There's still a chance. <laughs> I get a carrot dog. All and, right, good. And so that's why at Next Day Nutrition, that's why we do this. We want to provide food that is safe and healthy for you. We make it easy for you by cooking it for you. We bring it to your door. It can't get any easier. You just have to eat. But so, I have never seen a carrot dog in any of your, of your Next Day Nutrition because it's packages. Because a special event. Cruising all right, the yeah, all American. Let's break it out. Yeah, so we're not even going to show you how to make it. It's that simple. So the marinade is simply, it's soy sauce, it's maple syrup, and it's liquid smoke. And we mix it together, let it soak, maybe put in your favorite spices, some onion powder, garlic powder, maybe chop up some jalapenos if you're feeling crazy. But we just mix that together, let it soak, then bake this for 30 minutes. Bake it. Bake it for 30 bake minutes. Bake it, and then it's gonna taste like meat, but carrots. We're about to find out. All right, well here's some yes, buns. Yes. We're gonna and make some carrot dough. Carrot I'm so dogs. hungry. And then put your favorite toppings on top. And we have some onions that are diced up there. And I love onions and mustard and on mustard. my hot dogs. Yes, so yes. will I like them on my carrot dogs? You, I'm sure you will. There's boom and boom. Toss this on top. And then we need to get our mustard out. Oh, let me shake it up real good. Shake. Is mustard okay for you? Mustard is great. I love mustard. Let's see what All you right. got. Do you nice like mustard little, too? Not that much, a little less, a little less. Perfect. All right, perfection. And then we're gonna try it, let you know how it is, and then we're gonna get the people's opinion. Uh, I don't wanna get mustard on my gloves. Do you need me to feed it to you? I do. <laughs> well then, Jamie will try it, and I'll find out later. <laughs> it's crunchy. <laughs> I, I want to find out too. Let's cheers to me. I took a big old bite. Do I have mustard on my face? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, you guys, we are going to let other people try the carrot dogs. I cannot wait to see what people think of this. It's crunchy, but it tastes like like mesquite. Oh, yeah, almost. Hot doggy. Yeah, doggy. Let's try it out. <laughs> the carrot dog. Yes, yes. Here we are. Huh? Charity. I don't even like it. You don't like carrots? Mm -mm. What do you think of that? It's good. It's really a carrot. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, would you trade that for a hot dog? Or not? Probably. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Right. You might? <laughs> you don't know yet? Can't you try our carrot dog? Carrot dog, carrot dog baby. Mmm, well then you need to try a carrot dog. Let's let's get that. You, you like, like mustard? Mustard uh -huh. and onions? Uh-huh. Mustard and onions on this carrot dog. There you go. Try yourself a bite. Yes. Tell us what you think. What you doing? Dogs! Come and get your dogs. Anyone? Anyone? Do you like carrots? I love carrots. Would you like to try a carrot dog? I would love to try a carrot dog. Grab one, not four. I am a bulldog which loves carrots. Okay. <laughs> Can't say I knew that. You like it? I love it. Would you like to try it? I don't like carrots. Okay. There you go. All right. I'm All right. still doing mine, but that's a carrot dog. <laughs> Yeah? yeah? Pretty good? It's a carrot hot dog. Really? Yeah, would you like to try it? Yeah. Okay, and you, sir, you do too? Come on, over here, we got two. We're not taking a picture with him. He's not welcoming out. Hey, hey, wait. Okay. But he still has to try the hot dog. Okay, yeah. Package deal, package deal. Dun, dun, dun. Moment of truth. I'll let you take your onion. Oh, yeah. 
Mm. Tastes like a hot dog? Yeah, it's good. You see, I like stuff like, like I always think that. It's pretty good, isn't it? All right, y'all, we are going to be ending the cruising show on a fashion note. We're bumping into the lady who dressed me today. You will not want to miss this. How do I keep a healthy body? I eat my veggies. But really, there's more to it than that. In order to have a healthy body, you need to live a healthy lifestyle. My name is Tyler Cambry, and I have a plan for you to transform your life. Learn more at TylerCambry.com. Welcome to Antonian Salon. I'm Amory Wally, the owner. My mother opened the salon in 1996. My husband works here. My cousin works here. My sister works here. And once you work for us, your family. We are the Gulf Coast go-to glam squad. We do hair, we do nails, we do makeup. We are there for you on your special day. Come see us at Antonian Salon here in Gulfport. Oh my God, there she is. The lady who put this outfit together for me, Hello. Cindy. How are you? You got the memo too to also be dressed. Yes, I love this era of motor cars. Isn't this awesome? So y'all, this is Cindy Bilzing. She's with CC Designs over in Bay St. Louis. She's the one who assembled this. So how do I look? Did I turn out good? You look absolutely amazing. Is this era accurate for this car? Perfect. Anything between the 1910, 1920s, you are just gorgeous. Well, you look fabulous too. So what are you wearing? What era is this? This is about 1914, 1916, 1911, kind of Titanic day dress. Just it. an everyday look. You are fabulous. You know what's funny? When we were searching for outfits to wear for this era, a lot of the outfits are very, I hate to say this, but a little drab, kind of wallpaper-esque. And so I had a hard time with that. Tell me how we figured out how to look even more bling. Um, because of my fair lady in the time period in Hollywood and looking wonderful with the lace and embellishments. But a girl can't go anywhere without the hat and the gloves and the parasol. The parasols are on here somewhere. Yes, so you have to have all the bits or you're not socially acceptable. I love you, Cindy. So where can somebody go to find your designs and get some help with their own costume designs? I have a space on Facebook, CC's Designs. My phone number is also listed. Just give me a call and we'll set up whatever you'd like to create, wear, or whatever occasion, just let me know. You're awesome, thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you. Well, y'all, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cruising the Coast, Miss Congeniality Style. If you'd like to see more episodes or more from the show, visit MissCon.tv. Special shout out to the city of Gulfport for all their help making this show happen. Until next time, I am Miss Congeniality.